this week's grocery haul. I want to say as far as saving money, I mentioned last week I was going to tell you guys. So I had an incentive for Target on the cartwheel. That is the little like discounts they'll give you if you have the Target app on your phone. And they said that if I spent $50 on groceries, I got $10 off my order. So I had that. And then I also had a $15 gift card that I used and applied to it that I received when I bought some cleaning products last week for spending 50, get a $15 gift card for cleaning products. So always try to do their gift cards incentives if they're worth it. So I applied the $15 gift card and I also got $20 back because I had to purchase three purchases in so long of a time uh, of $60 or more and you got a $20 a credit to your account and I hit that threshold because I've been to Target so many times for the Christmas season. So we got $20 back. So what I'm trying to say is my Target total that you're going to see was $62.52 and then I got an additional $20 back. So that is insane. So that's why I went the Target route this week because it's definitely cheaper than going in store to Aldi or to Walmart. I saved money by not going in stores this week. All of these are pickups. Aldi is cheap, but it gets me with all the Christmas things especially. However, next week we will definitely be going to Aldi in store, so stay tuned for that. But let me take you down to the counter and show you what we picked up from Sam's Club, Winn-Dixie, and Target. I really don't know what Christmas is all about. I'm going to start with Target first so you guys know the total. And if you hear Saint, he is like all... Plane. I'm actually filming a fun video if y'all want to see Saint. Make sure your notification bell is clicked. You should have already seen it yesterday. So check that out for a Vlogmas video. And Target, let's get into it. I was really happy that I was able to get this stuff for the prices I was versus what was priced in my Walmart cart. I will tell you. So you can save money from going to Bougie Targi, Targi. <laughs> Target. I'm telling y'all, if you use that cartwheel incentive, check it because they have specialized incentives for the individual. Not everybody gets the same ones. You can really save a lot of money by doing those, but you can't just go in there and Good buy stuff without the incentives and it is more expensive. You know what I'm saying? We got an onion. We're going to be making my slow cooker red beans next week. So we got an onion for that. I opted for these little cuties. This was a good price for this three pound bag. And it, it's just like, it feels more than three pounds. I'm just saying, <laughs> but they are looking good. And that was a good cheap fruit option for us for next week. I needed just one bell pepper, but they didn't have that option at Target. You had to get the two pack. It's fine. They're actually kind of small, so I might use both of them. And then I got some of this shredded green leaf lettuce. It's actually like, I don't know, I probably should have got the iceberg, but it is what it is for just a Taco Tuesday night, so that will be fine. I got a bag of the Good & Gather mozzarella cheese for the boys' homemade Lunchable pizzas, and I love this one too because it's 80 calories for a serving, six grams of protein. I am finally out of Laughing Cow Cheeses. I, I don't know what's been going on because I bought a bunch at one time apparently and I've been trying to go through them and I finally went through them. So I got a um, Pepper Jack win at Walmart the other day, just running in to get like a couple of things so y'all didn't see that. But Target is the only place that I can find that sells the creamy aged white cheddar. And if you've never tried this one, y'all, it is so good. And it's 25 calories a wedge. You can use that in all kinds of things. I got some unsweetened almond milk because they were out of the vanilla. So they subbed me for this one, which is totally fine. I got a Ninja Creamy. I got a Ninja Creamy. And I'm going to be trying all the recipes. So need extra almond milk, not just for my protein coffee now. I mean, let's go. Got some Philadelphia cheese, cream cheese, and the third less fat. They didn't have the third less fat in the Good and Gather brand. So I got this for my chicken crock pot spaghetti. Y'all should have already seen that here on the channel. It's been there. The Prairie Farms is the same company that makes the eggnog that the hubs love so much. They had this chocolate milk was the only option for chocolate milk that Target had at my store. So I got that for the boys instead of the Fair Life. Organic bananas for myself for pre-workout snacks. Four of the two good smoothies. This wasn't like the only option Target had versus what y'all usually see me get at Walmart. I got two of the peach, one mixed berry, one strawberry and banana. I wanted to get the little Chobani ones, but it was out of stock. So that's why you only see four instead of five. A container of Daisy Low Fat 2% Cottage Cheese because I just put cottage cheese in everything now. It's my jam. Four 
saint. Saint is like living his, he is living his best toy life right now. And he's not always that frisky. So let him live. We got a turkey smoked sausage for the red beans. This is the one we're going with. The macros on it are 100 calories for two ounces, eight protein. I think that's pretty comparable to the one that I use. So I'll just change it in my tracker. And then I got two of the rolls of the turkey sausage breakfast sausage from Good & Gather. I love this one. I only need one roll for my breakfast bowl. And if y'all watch the vlogs, I'll show you guys how to make that. Um, but I love this stuff and I don't always go to Target. So I'm going to stick one in the freezer. Two boxes of Jiffy corn muffin mix for my easy protein cornbread. <laughs> I was trying to say a pot side spaghetti. I like this. I mean, you can just break it, but it's the same size. I'm the same price. So it's 98 cents. It was for the 16 ounce, one pound pot size or you can get the regular one and break it in half. Got this prime hydration drink. Are your, if my parents out there that have boys, Waylon's gonna be eight on the 4th of January, but like teenage boys, are they all into this prime? Was this Jake Paul on YouTube's line? Everybody that I know, that like baseball team, they are like all the time, prime, prime, prime. And like Waylon watches YouTube kids shorts with the prime. It's crazy. So I got this to go in his stocking because he is next level obsessed. I got this big three pound bag of the cherries and berries blend. Y'all know we've been loving the one from Walmart. This one has cherries, the same thing, blueberries and sliced strawberries. So we have been loving that. And I've been loving putting that on top of my protein French toast. It's been so good. I got a box of the New York breadsticks, the garlic breadsticks. These are, as far as the mat, where are they at? 190 calories of breadsticks. So that's higher than what I thought they were, but the family's going to love that. Old El Paso crunchy tacos are the ones that we go to because they're like the cheapest and the macros are good and they just taste fire for our easy taco Tuesday night. Three shells is 150 calories. Love that. And then I got some Pop-Tarts because I am out of my Apple Jack. It's my favorite. They didn't have the 12 pack or I would have bought it. So I got the eight count of the Apple Jacks and I've never tried or seen, I've heard y'all talk about that, the frosted banana bread. I think some of y'all told me that you thought it tasted artificial after I bought them. I was like, oh, should I bought them? But we're going to try them out. I'm still on the hunt for the Eggo ones. I cannot find the Eggo ones. And y'all are like, girl, try the Eggo ones. They are so good. I cannot find them. So just like you guys are having problems finding the Applejack, I can't find the Eggo ones. The chocolate fudge frosting, that is to go on top of some brownies for this weekend. I am making a huge Christmas dessert charcuterie board for my sister's annual Christmas party. And I am making some homemade brownies. I'm gonna put some frosting on them. I got some soup. They didn't have the off-brand version, so I got the real deal. The fat-free cream of mushroom and the fat-free cream of chicken for the chicken spaghetti. And then I wanted to get some oatmeal frosted cookies they had. They were out of stock, so I got these instead. The mini frosted sugar cookies and the 18 count, super cute, and everybody loves those to put on the board. And then Sam's Club was out of the big bag of the Reese's trees. I should have bought them way back when. All the Christmas stuff at Sam's is like out of stock, out of stock. I'm like, okay, I tried. <laughs> That's why I tell you guys to buy it when you see it like months in advance. My mother-in-law is what I'm trying to say. She is obsessed with these and I always get her that big bag from Sam's. Well, they didn't have it. So I got her just this king size two trees to add to her Christmas present. So that is everything from Target for the price that I told you. When Dixie back here, they had a deal for buy two 12 packs get two free. So these equated to be about $4.40 a 12 pack, still way more from back in the day. But y'all, these were priced on the shelf like almost $9. It is insane. So I got two of the Sprite Zero, one of the Cherry Coke Zero. However, I busted one of the cans in the car. These fell over like a tower, Woo! fell over. And I heard something. It sounded like I hit something and I went to go get that car and one has busted and it's, thank God it didn't get all over the car like as bad as it could have, okay? But just saying, so we're down to 11 of the Cherry Coke Zeros and then 12 of the Dr. Pepper Zero in the cream soda is one of our favorites. And then we got some country gravy mix. They didn't have any at Target and this was only 99 cents, this White Lily brand at Winn-Dixie. Same macros, everything, so I hope it tastes the same. So this was about $19 at Winn-Dixie. If you're wondering, he, he's still living his best life. It's like, mom, come play with me. Quit talking about food and groceries. Put those up and play with me. For a Sam's Club, I'm not going to tell you guys the price because I honestly don't know it. I had, y'all know, I had to renew my membership. I mentioned it was like one day out from being expired. So this total 
was a gazillion dollars. It like pained me so bad to slide the button and hit pay. And I also have a big thing of kids toothpaste coming and those slipper grip socks you saw me get for my sister. She wanted a pair so they didn't have any more in store but I was able to get them shipped. So that is included as well. I got two of the nature's own Hawaiian bread. This is our favorite, 70 calories a slice. And it's so much cheaper to buy bread at Sam's y'all than even at Aldi, Walmart, all the places. It's million dollar free loaf of bread because I bought a single loaf of bread from Walmart to tide us over till I could get this because we were completely out. And it was almost the same price for one as you get for two. It's nuts. So just saying money, money saving tip. I got the variety pack of the cookies to go on the board. We love these. Y'all have seen me haul these a million times and it kept saying out of stock, but I was able to snag one. Thankfully, the oatmeal raisin are fire. That's my favorite in here. If you've never tried those, they are chef's kiss. White chocolate macadamia and then just classic chocolate chip. You get 18, I think I said, for $7.48. That's not bad for, you know, what you're getting, and they're delicious. Y'all know we love the pasture raised eggs from Sam's Club, and I don't have a backup. I like to get a backup, and I'm down to ones I'm using, so that's why we got those. They didn't have any bagel options at Target that I was interested in, so I saw these cinnamon raisin bagels from Sam's, and they are $3.52 for six, so it's way more than I usually pay, but they are like massive huge and i'm hoping they taste delicious macros are a little bit higher on these they're a hundred and no 290 calories a bagel instead of like 260 and nine grams of protein but i think they're gonna be delicious so i'm excited we got some gogurts instead of getting them you know at aldi or whatever they come with the strawberry berry you get 32 in here this was actually the same price as the ones i've been getting from aldi if you break it down so i might just start buying them there but i know the boys like the special flavors there's that, but that's gonna tie this over till we get special flavors. And then y'all haven't seen me buy the liquid egg whites from Sam's in a hot second, but when you break down the ounce per price, whatever, it happens to be cheaper than Aldi because Aldi's have gone up and definitely Walmart. So you get six 16 ounce cartons for the price I'm popping up. This used to be under $9.00. It's like, what did I pop up? 12 something. But y'all, at one point, these were like $17. So I'm like, okay, they're coming back down a little bit. And now they're cheaper than buying the individual ones in the store. So we'll take it. Rotisserie season chicken breast. Love this stuff. This is for myself primarily, but for sandwiches for everybody. 60 calories and 11 grams of protein. I like to eat this straight up with the laughing cow. Like make a little roll and put it in your mouth. It's so good, I'm telling you. And it's high protein and it's satisfying and delicious. The organic version coconut oil. Y'all haven't seen me haul this in a hot second, but I'm almost out. I use this for all my baking. So this is primarily what I use this for other than if it calls for vegetable oil, I just use this. I just love the way it, it like makes things super moist in my opinion and, I, and it's better for you in, in the long run. And it's pretty cheap for what you get. So we got this big thing of coconut oil because we're doing all the baking for the holidays. The peanut M&Ms, I only was able to get the regular ones because the Christmas ones, all the stuff I said was out of stock. These are from my brother-in-law, if you've been watching for a second. It's his favorite. That is to go in his Christmas present, but he doesn't care what color they are as long as they taste like peanut M&Ms, so it's a win. We got some blueberries. They came down slightly in price, okay? They were like under $7, still too much for what this is, but it's better than what we've been paying. And I wanted a fresh fruit option for myself and for Trey other than what we already have. And then I got a bunch of chicken. I got chicken wasted. I love these Members Mark Mesquite Grilled Chicken Fillets. You get three pounds for the price. They are fully cooked. And I wanted something easy to pop into the air fryer as a protein source, like a chicken source with like cottage cheese, whatever. They are 110 calories and 18 grams of protein. Weigh them up though, because not every filet is necessarily three ounces, just saying. And then we got the big bag of chicken breast. It's the cheapest way I can get chicken breast around me anywhere. And I am completely out. So this is the one that I get for all the recipes that call for it. You get 10 pounds in here for the price. It's the cheapest way. We got a Fairlife container of 12 bottles of the protein shakes. 30 grams of protein, 150 calories. 
delicious and I was able to score them in the pickup. Can you guys see this? I don't know how that happened, but I'm not questioning it because I usually have to go in store for that, you guys know. And then I got some Quest protein chips. They have seven of the nacho flavor and seven of the chili lime. This is to go with that cottage cheese egg salad bowl thing I made a couple weeks ago. I don't have any more Quest chips and getting them from Sam's is the cheapest way. I price them from Amazon, Target, all the places per bag. It's the cheapest to do it this way. They have a couple of different flavor variations, but this is the one I thought that I would like the most. They range from 18 to 20 grams of protein and 140 calories. So it's a good, like easy way to get some protein in if you don't have time to get like real, real protein sources in is what I'm saying, like on the side. You don't wanna to gravitate towards like a million bags per day, but like one bag per day is sufficient. Y'all, can you believe we're out of batteries? Didn't I just buy these like a week ago? Like what is going on? We have so many things outside that require them inside for all the Christmas things. And I'm wiped and my stuff is dying. So I'm having to replace. So I got the big 48 count of the AA batteries. I hope I don't have to buy those anymore anytime soon because they're like 20 bucks. And then this caught my eye. I guess I was hungry when I was shopping. The Members Mark Milk Chocolate Toffee Truffles with a hint of sea salt. Soft melt away center. I mean, they just go in for you, right? Creamy indulgent milk chocolate truffles with crunchy toffee chunks. Oh yes, that is like all me. Each one is 80 calories, six fat, seven carbs, and like no protein, okay? But I thought this would be a good like maybe a little treat. Maybe I can add this in to a creamy. I don't know, but they feel pretty good size in the bag. So I am here for that. Gotta hide that from everybody. So that is our grocery haul this week. Can you guys believe it? We got everything in one day besides Sam's. That was million dollar, but this was cost effective over here. If I didn't have to pay my membership, it wouldn't have been as a big blow, but oh, it, it, that's why I wait to the very last second to do on my membership. So I get my every squeeze of my money's worth. Sam's Club, Target this week, Winn-Dixie. Check your Target app or download it, guys. Not sponsored, nothing, okay? Uh, they don't even know I exist. This is just me trying to help you guys out with saving a little coin where I can. And that Target cartwheel app with the incentives definitely does that for us.